you want to start getting more sync placements, you have to make sure that your music sounds more expensive. So here's three ways you can do that. First thing is mid side EQ. This allows you to sculpt the sides of a song and the center of your mix independently. Think of it as like the salt and pepper of a song. It enhances the flavors of the meal without overpowering the main ingredients of the song, which is normally your groove. Second thing is to harness the power of automation. This is extremely important because you can use it for all kinds of different things like dynamic effects, automated delay throws, reverb throws, volume swells, filter sweeps, all kinds of different stuff to make your music sound more interesting and not more expectant. Because if I can foresee what you're about to do next in your track, it's probably boring. And music supervisors don't like boring. We want to add a dash of excitement and tension to your mix. And the last and most important thing that I've found to be very, very helpful is adding some type of creative harmonic saturation or distortion. It could add warmth and depth to a mix. And if you turn it up, it can add a lot of different character as well. It's like roasting your vegetables before you toss them in a stew. Aside from all the food analogies, without these kinds of techniques, your mix can sound a little bit bland and it may lack the depth that intrigues a music supervisor to go, oh, yo, this is actually kind of dope. Share this if it helps. Go watch some more of my content.